Welcome to the hey. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. Okay, I want to share this story. It's a little late, but I'm just finding it. Stuff is about a trans woman, Mihel, which is the man. He's 27 years old, 25 years old, Nina. And she's a trans woman that basically was murdered. Now, I want to share this story with you and stuff. I'm a little late on this, so work with me because this is in another language and stuff. And it's a little different now. This is a person that was a Russian doctor murdered, dismembered, and cooked a woman after realizing he had made love to a woman who was basically had the sex chains that was post op and she was only born um, male. A Russian doctor confessed to murdering and dismembering a woman he dated while he discovered she had undergone sex chain surgery. The medic, Meek Hell, 27 years old, cooked some of the, her body parts in her oven, flushed her remains down the toilet, as he told the police. He had been out on a night with Nina, 25 years old, and Kurtz before going back to her flat. He said, the pair were having sex when he realized that she was a transsexual and had go undergone surgery. He immediately strangled her in the bed and then tried to hide the murder dismemberment her courts. He told the police interrogators. Now, Nina was detained, I'm um, excuse me, Nina, excuse me, Mikhail was detained in question after Nina went missing and her mother called the police to investigate. The police reported that the incident said that Nina invited him to her flat. They continued to drink alcohol and began to have sex. He noticed her, he noticed his partner had, had previous, was previously a man. She tried to continue the sex, but at the moment he grabs her by the neck and squeezed tight said the police. Now, he stopped only when he had no more, he stopped only when he found that she had no more life now. Ugh. Nina, excuse me, Mikhail decided to get rid of the body and took to the course of the bathroom where he cut out her internal joint internal organs <sighs> and chopped them into small pieces which he flat which he flushed down the toilet <sighs> he then carved out the woman's flesh which he put in the oven roasted them to evaporate its excessive liquid the man denied the man denied he had been a cannibal and told police that he had flushed and cook human meat down the toilet. He then put the head of the limb in a suitcase and took them to the flat according to the crime report. Using a rat, he saw off her limbs, ribs, and threw them into a rubbish bin. <sighs> At this time, the police came in to detain him. They found the Marker Bell site of the head still attached to the spine, which he had covered in salt to get rid of the smell. He had no time to get rid of the body parts as he was caught according to one reports. Mihel, who was detained, Mihel, who trained as a doctor, faces up 20 years, 20 years in jail if convicted of murdering and mutilating the corpse. Nina formerly Mel. Um, had been registered as a female by Russian authorities. <sighs> Mia was um, was said to dismember and cook parts of Nina after finding out she was previously born a man. And this is an up-to-date when it says that the Russian doctor confessed to murder and dismembering and cooking a trans woman he dated. After discovering she was trans, Mihail, 27 years old, cooked Nina and cursed 
in the, her oven in her oven. He then flash flesh her remains down the toilet. He told the police. The mix was at the night with Nina before being invited back to her flat. Okay, same thing. Now this took place in Russia. Okay, give me a second. Okay. It was a little difficult reading this one. Um, Mina was 25 years old. Meek Hell was 27. He went to her house and killed her in her house. Not, not that I'm surprised. Not that I'm surprised. A Russian doctor murders this member and cook woman after realizing while they had sex that she was previously born trans. They put man, but the pair, the pair had been having sex when Meek Hell discovered she was finally born. Man. She didn't have the surgery and everything. She didn't did all the work. 27 years old. She didn't have the surgery and everything. While having sex, he killed her. And this is my thing. How do we not know he didn't know? How do we not know he was about to rob her? How do we not know? I've never heard of a man, but then again, you know, this world is created with so many crazy people in it. I don't, I, I'm not even gonna speculate anything. But the one thing I can say is this beautiful woman is murdered. You got rid of the evidence. Her side of the story is gone. Meek hell. Your name should be straight from hell. You're 27 years old. And you killed her. We need to hear her side of the story. But you made sure we won't hear that. You could have been robbing her. She could have fought back. It was her house. It's not unknown to us for being robbed by people coming to our house. She could have fought you back. And you robbed her of her life. 25 years old. I always tell anybody... If you ever had this surgery, this is the one thing I always be concerned about right here, this part. Let's sit in this part for a second and think about this. This part. This part. This the part that I'm afraid of. A man knowing and kill me or a man not knowing and kill me. And when I see a man knowing, he know what he did after we had sex, then all of a sudden now he feels disgusted. He's angry with me because he felt as though I used my body to lure him in because society didn't got in his head. And now he's standing in front of me wanting to kill me off of something society done planted in his head. Or I had the surgery. I'm living my life. Hell, I stopped telling people I was trans and someone finds out and come and kill me. It is a very thin line when you are transitioning. It is a very thin line when dealing with a man whose mind is not always stable and strong. The one thing I want my two spirit sisters to understand, men have been killing women for years. 
You're now stepping into womanhood. And the step into womanhood, that means you're going down. You're not going up. You have to go down a level. Now the bad part about our life is now we see all the hell cis women have been going through for years. For years they've been murdered. For years they've been killed. And now we're sitting in that spot now. We're taking a turn. And now we're being murdered. And we're being killed. We're like, oh, killing us because of the No, they've been killing women for years. Any excuse. This girl was only 25 years old. We need to ask her, sis, what happened? He discovered she was born a male. How would he know? How would he know? After having sex. If the reports are accurate. If the reports are accurate. It states. After. Having sex. He cooked body parts of Nina in her own home oven. Confessing the murder, dismemberment, and cooking trans woman he dated after discovering she was trans. He cooked her. What happened? The medics was um, the medic was on that night out with um, Nina before being invited up to her flat, but as the pair had sex, At, they had sex. See, that's the part I'm talking about. They had it already. And see, that's the part, that middle part, right? That's the great area. So after you had sex, he could have been about to rob her. And she fought him back. And then all of a sudden, here comes this excuse. Then he realized she was trans and had undergone gender reassignment, gender affirming surgery. He immediately strangled her in her bed and then had to hide the body. Now remember, key word here, already had sex. He already didn't have the sex. He immediately strangled her in her bed. Then tried to hide the body and dismember her corpse. To me, my personal opinion, this was a murder. This was a murder. He knew exactly what he was doing. Police detained a question. Mihail, after Nina's family reported her missing. Now, let me say y'all something. How many people you know murder somebody and then take out time? I'm going to get me some salt. I'm, a, um, I'm using, I'm using, he's using salt to get rid of the smell. How many people you know try to murder you, go in your house and put salt down after murdering you? Ain't nobody going to put no salt. If he was devastating, he was so mentally crazy he was just went crazy started screaming and ran out the house at the murder screaming like why did you do this to me why why but no he took out time to cut her apart using salt to get rid of the smell now think about this he's taking out time taking out time in her house after cooking her This man is a murderer. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. There's no one here. I've ever heard of somebody that want to kill you. And all of a sudden, they're going to take out parts and clean all this extra stuff. 27 years old. But I'm going to let you read a voice for her. Share this video. Like, subscribe, share. I want to hear your thoughts about this. But like I said before, if somebody kill you, the last thing they think about is trying to, I guess he was trying to cover his ass. But to go to that degree to get some salt to make sure nobody smell it. I mean, come on now. That's extreme. That's what the bullshit shows that he knew exactly what she was before he got there and he killed her. It was bullshit. My personal opinion was he was about to rob her. He said he was allegedly doctor. Doctors are known to be on drugs any damn way. He probably needed another fucking fix. And at the end of the day, she stopped him from robbing her. He got upset and killed her. And then once again, oh, I didn't know she was trans. 
Now here is a woman right here that had the surgery and everything. And now you want us to believe this bullshit ass story. Anyway, like I said before, subscribe to my channel at the top of this Instagram button. You follow me. I won't be following you back until I see things change. I love you guys. Have a safe day. And my two spirit sisters and brothers, please be safe out here. Because everybody who smiles in your face is not your friend.